to rise by 150 pounds this winter. Piece of the Telegraph uh, it says that uh, they're forecast to rise because that's going to put further pressure on millions of pensioners who are going to lose their winter fuel payments. Yesterday, mm -hmm. he spent a great deal of time um, talking to an awful lot of people who were very annoyed um, that uh, the cabinet almost to a man and woman, are all charging their uh, winter fuel bills to us from their second homes, yes. including Ed Miliband, who claimed 1,100 quid last year. Yeah, solidarity comments. Yeah, all absolutely of that. right. Uh, all yeah. of the best You will the pay, and also, do you seem to, and I seem to remember that just before the election, we were told that uh, we were going to save £300 a year mm. uh, on our energy bills because Labour were going to found, found a new company called UK Energy. Yeah, and uh, as such, nothing really seems to have happened with that. No. Uh, but uh, we're forking away lots of other money and giving pay rises to people and uh, uh, climate aid. That's all so, good, yes. Yeah, that's all fine. Uh, so don't worry about that. Maybe it'll be a Wild, mild winter, who knows? But you know, at Maersk, the shipping company, have already said that inflation is going to go up later this yeah. year as a result of what's going on in the Gulf. Because of all the pay rises yep. as well. And the uptick in activity in Ukraine is going to have an effect on oil prices as well, which will then have a knock on impact mm. on air. On heating your house. So we're in for a really, really good winter. Yes. And again, as what can I say, things were bad under the Tories. I suspect they aren't going to get much better under Labour. I mean, people did say, if you think the Tories are bad, wait yeah. till Labour gets it. That it is beginning to look